Gym owners, we are back. What's up, guys? Kale Owen here with Ed Turney. We are back with a little bit of training. We want to drop some knowledge on you guys. One of the biggest things that we notice inside the gym industry when we talk to gyms is a pricing model. And most of the time, the pricing models are broken. And when I mean pricing model is how often gyms are charging when they're doing that. A good stat, a really good stat to understand is that the average gym owners, their margins are 12.5%. And what we want to do today is we want to show you how you can almost double your margins just by making one small tweak in when you charge your clients. You don't have to add any classes. You don't have to add any new clients. You don't have to do anything except change one small thing. And that's just when you actually charge your clients. And this has a massive impact on how much money you make. Also has a massive impact on a couple other things that I want Ed to go into real quick because these will, these will help you a ton. Yeah. So... I like to say this is so good, it feels illegal to actually know. Like Kel mentioned, we, we have payroll, we have rent, we have all these expenses. We pay all those things for all 52 weeks of the year, I'm assuming, yes? Unless you're skipping out, right? <laughs> so you're paying for 52 weeks, but you're not actually collecting money from your clients for all 52 weeks because most people are charging monthly. So when you charge monthly, you're actually losing a little bit of every single month. And that little bit every single month actually adds up to an entire extra month at the end of the year. Reason being is there's 4.3 weeks in every single month, right? Because there's more than 28 days, that makes sense. So if you're only collecting on a monthly basis, you're giving a couple free days to every single client, every single month. And you may not realize that, I didn't realize this until someone talked to me. It's one of those things I was like so mad. I was like, how have I been so dumb? <laughs> uh, but the moment I made the switch from charging my clients monthly to keeping the exact same price, quote unquote, but charging them weekly, I increased my revenue automatically because if you were charging, let's say $100 a month, don't do that, but if you were, and then you switch to $25 a week, you immediately go from $1,200 a year, right? 12 months times 100 to $1,300 a year, immediately. So it's money math magic. They get you a 13th month every single year because of those extra couple of days. Yeah, and another way to put it is just look at how much revenue you're making in a month right now, mm -hmm. and then just add that amount at the end of the year. So you're making that's one extra thing <laughs> right there. Bam. Yeah. You're just taking that, you're putting in your pocket. You yeah. didn't have to do anything for it. You didn't have to add a new trainer for a new class that you had to cover. You didn't have to pay any marketing dollars to go out and acquire more clients. You didn't have to do anything. All you had to do was just sit back and collect the money that your clients are paying you. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool about that is it just aligns with everything you said in regards to trainers and cash flow. Because one of the bigger issues that we see in gyms is cash flow and managing cash flow. Because a lot of times, right, you've got trainers that are coming in. Sometimes there's weeks where you're actually paying your trainers three times in a month month. So there the payroll comes and there's three three hits every in that month. And but your cash flow is limited because you're only getting one one actual input like inflow from your members. And so switching that up and moving to it every 28 day is phenomenal. And if you watch some of our other videos when we talk about switching to from an unlimited to a three time a week membership, if you couple these two together by switching and changing by doubling your capacity, moving to a three time a week membership and moving to billing every either week or 28 days, you're gonna see a massive change. Now, there's multiple ways that you can do like a weekly billing or changing that. There's weekly, there's bi-weekly or there's every 28 days. Which did you do in your gym? I did weekly simply because it's easier to sell $49 a week mm. on the front end than it is to sell $210 a month, which by the way, it's $210 a month when it's $49 a week because it plays out over time. When you sign someone up, it's easier to say, hey, it's $49 a week that breaks down to 16 something per session, mm -hmm. right? Sessions, not classes. Uh, so it's easier to sign somebody up. So it feels cheaper to the client. You make more money as, as a result and then retention obviously goes higher. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to actually go on the opposite route. I actually did 28 every 28 days. And that was more so from a billing aspect. So it's really personal choice because they both work out the math wise. They're both the exact same. So the reason I did 28 days, if you're thinking about it, is more so of how many times does my payroll run? How many times do I have to go back in and rerun payroll? And it's, it was a simpler process. Now from a sales perspective, that's he's spot on. It is spot on. And so we actually used to sell it this way where, yeah, so it's $49 a week. You just pay every four weeks. We bill every four weeks. That's it. And so we still sold it at a weekly rate we just are letting them know that we're billing every 28 days and so they understood they're like cool great all they heard right is 49 dollars a week it works out to 196 every 28 days and then over mm -hmm. the course of time all of a sudden you just get a whole extra billing at the end of the year so nice so basically if you're making twenty five thousand dollars a month right now would you like to make an extra twenty five thousand dollars profit in your pocket every year and to that's put, the question <laughs> yeah and to put that in context right the average gym owners make taking home if you think about it, taking home the average gym owner in the world right now is taking home anywhere between sixteen to twenty thousand dollars, maybe twenty four thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. A year. And you can again if you're making twenty five thousand dollars right now, you can literally just double that in one month. Just take it. 
That's it, right? It's just extra revenue going right into your pocket for no cost. Help more people, make more money, do more good in the world, switch to weekly payments. See you next time. Easy. <laughs> Bye guys.